Hey, we're in Beehive Basin on a southwest aspect, just below 9,000 feet. Snowpack here is about five feet deep, which is relatively shallow for this time throughout our advisory area. And at the base of that snowpack is this soft, just really weak snow. Yesterday there was a big avalanche, just one peak over on the same aspect, a little bit higher elevation on Wilson Peak that was triggered naturally. And on Tuesday in the Bridger Range, a skier was killed in an avalanche on a similar snowpack structure. So these are indicators that big avalanches are still possible to trigger. They're getting more difficult as they get, this weak layer gets buried deeper. And this poor structure is not widespread. It's kind of on specific slopes that have this shallower snowpack or are uh, heavily wind loaded and have a, a slab that tapers from thin to thick. So we're, kind of, we're probing around to avoid steep slopes where the snowpack is less than about six feet deep and we're avoiding higher elevation terrain that gets affected heavily by the wind and we might find ourselves triggering an avalanche from a thinner spot that propagates to where it's deeper. In addition to that, we have a lot of a foot or two of soft new snow over the last week and on wind loaded slopes that's going to have some drifts that are easy to trigger and those are lower consequence than this deep avalanche. They may be more likely um, but if they carry into trees or over cliffs they could be deadly. So avalanches are possible and we want to carefully assess the snowpack and terrain before riding any steep terrain.